everybody, it's Kevin here from Brutal Co. Auctioneers, and we had a really nice auction. It was our February 21st estate auction, and it was uh, quite interesting. We had over 350 lots uh, crossing the block, and some of my favorites were lot number two, the Roger Mule Abstract. That was the tulip painting, very colorful. It was a nice size, too, 20 by 20, not too big, was manageable for a beautiful New York apartment. That's why it went out the door at 93.75. That was a, a really nice little painting right there. One of the interesting ones of the night, of all the Fall River School paintings we had, we had quite a few, and was lot number 17, was the Herbert Cash. When an artist has a good day, they just have a great day. This was a beautiful still life by Herbert Cash, and with a very modest estimate of four to 600, it brought, 30, uh, brought over 4,000 actually, all in, 4,062.50. So that's, that's a big number for a Herbert Cash painting, but what a painting it was. Lot number 28, John Colin Young, Beautiful interior, uh, John Racine, little boy, kneeling down at the table, right? Got the drape on the table, got all the shadows in the right places, and a beautiful pair of turquoise vases in the background with an estimate of two to 3,000. Went out with Buyer's Premium at $7,500. I'm sure the consignment is gonna be delighted with that one for sure. Lot number uh, 175, if you have a cool house and you're doing it in a funky style, you're definitely gonna love these pair of Milo Bowman sofas. They were in really great condition. You always see the veneer messed up on these, but not on these. They were in pretty good condition. And we had them estimated 15 to 2,500. Fair deal for anybody looking for a pair of vintage couches. Out the door they went at 4,000. It's good to see the trade being lively in the furniture department for sure. Lot number 293, one of our many rank badges. I think we had about, I don't know, maybe 20 rank badges at least in the sale with other Chinese textiles, some robes, all from one storage unit. Lot 293 was the best performing uh, badge out of all of them. It was a Leopard military badge. It was a third rank badge. And we estimated them all very, very low and very modest. They were a found item. They were, they were a, a great uh, find for the consigner. So at a two to $300 estimate, went out the door at 3,750. With other textiles bringing in the hundreds and even a, a thousand, a couple thousand dollars also. So if you're interested in cool auctions, check out Bruno & Co. at brunoandco.com. And we have a great auction schedule up there, probably five auctions coming up in the near future. So anything you see out there, give us a call, give us an email. Hope to see you there. That's B-R-U-N-E-A-U.